Caroline, you spoke brilliantly about somebodying in children's and youth ministries. Can you share for our listeners here what you mean by that and why it's important to do in this work? Sure. So this is my personal kind of understanding of um, the gift that was given to me in youth ministry and then the calling that I get to do in the work with young people in church um, and in ministry. So um, I think I realized that when I was in youth ministry, first in middle school and then in high school, um, a youth leader somebodied me, you know, turning that that noun of somebody into a verb. Um, They recognized me. They saw me as someone at the time I felt kind of indifferent, you know, um, unformed, unknown, kind of just out there as a general somebody. And they saw me and recognized me and made me feel like I belonged and was a part of something bigger than myself. And they helped me see myself not as this unformed somebody, but as a specific kind of important person of notice somebody. I even sit up taller when I say that. Um, That's how I felt. And that was the gift to me um, as a young person. And then they helped me realize that I could do that for myself, that that was the way God sees me and loves me and um, calls me to belong in all places and spaces. And then I guess that the next gift is that I then as a young person could do that for others, my peers and those I worked with when I was in a mentor role with younger students, I could then help them see themselves the way God does as somebody, as somebody of infinitely um, important um, value and love um, as worthy to belong. And so that somebody and that, that verbing of this noun is the way I understand ministry to young people. It's our job as youth workers and soul tenders but then it's also the skill. We get to do it for our kids and then help them do it for themselves and for each other. And that's the best part of my job. When I can stand back and see young people doing this um, for each other, for older people, for younger people, for um, their peers, for people inside the church and outside, when they can help one another see themselves as um, valued children of God, that's it. You know, um, I can I can sit back and my, my job is, um, is almost done because then this yeah there's energy and it's just multiplying. Um, And they're gonna leave with that skill. Wherever they go, um, when they're outside of the church, they're gonna have this understanding that they are loved by God, they were loved in the church, and they know how to share that love with themselves and each other always. I love that. And it sounds it sounds so foundational to, you know, we often talk about children's ministry and youth ministries as programs, right? But this is this is more uh, robust than that idea. This is very foundational, I imagine, uh, from which many different ideas can flow. Have you experienced where this leads into how you structure things um, and how you think about the whole programs? It does. I think it, it's my why, right? This is um, mm-hmm. undergirds, you know, it, it is foundational and it's aspirational. It's kind of coming in at, at both sides. It's what we want to make sure we're working towards and it has to come up under us. If um, a young person is not feeling valued or important or seen or like they belong, everything falls apart. They they can't, they can't function. They're not going to learn the 23rd Psalm or anything in confirmation or um, how to participate in worship or do service of neighbor. Nothing can happen if they're not feeling secure and belonging. Um, But then we can't just stay there. We want to make sure that we are reaching always towards that goal. Um, So it is that kind of through thread through um, all the ministry I do, you know, is, is this activity gonna help answer that, um, get a young person to that thing? If it's not, if this is just an activity because we've always done it because it's tradition or um, you think it's gonna bring a million people into the church, it's probably not. Um, if it's not telling them that they are somebody, that they are loved by God, that if it's not helping them build this skill and this foundational um, kind of operating orientation, it's probably not our ministry. And so it does, it helps shape um, our understanding within the church of of why we do ministry and who's involved and that it takes a lot of hands and that um, all adults, right, when they're interacting with our kids have this opportunity to do that. Um, Our language, our actions, um, the way we budget is all powerful and it's saying this is, we think our kids are somebody and we wanna make sure that that we are telling them that in very um, explicit and implicit ways all the time. Mm 